Ken Hill, Yamaha Champions Riding School. And I think one of the cool things that I read last year was an interview with Casey Stoner. And in that interview with Casey Stoner, he said, I think one of the things that I'm a little bit better at than everybody else is being able to read the corner and take advantage of what that corner has to offer. Ben Spees talked a lot about that too, is when he's going to some of these new tracks and trying to figure things out, he says, I want to maximize the radius of each corner for what it offers. So what do they mean? We're going to break those corners down into three different types of corners. We have entry corners, exit corners, and balance corners. And what we're looking for is what lasts longest in each one of those corners. So on an entry corner, our deceleration zone lasts longest. So on an entry corner, we want to take advantage of the deceleration zone because that's what lasts the longest. So we'll use our brakes to or past the apex. In an exit corner, and you know what? Most corners are exit corners. You go to most tracks, you know, we're here at Chuck Walla, there's 16 corners, and I think 12 of them are exit corners. We want to have the bike slowed and pointed so we can take advantage of the acceleration zone. So in an exit corner, we have the bike slowed and pointed so we can start our acceleration process as we go past the apex. Then on a balance corner, your deceleration zone and your uh, acceleration zone last about the same amount of time. So you can approach a balance corner as either an entry or an exit corner and really wouldn't affect your lap time. Uh, given the choice, we'll approach it as an exit corner because it's safer and more repeatable. And I think once you understand the track dynamics, it, it'll allow you to figure out what control you're supposed to be using when, and it'll just give you a better sense of, of, what, of what you're supposed to be doing on the track and taking advantage of your environment.